Hello and welcome to National Park Wild. I'm Eric, and currently I am in Voyager's National Park as I record this. And as I'm wrapping up the trip, I'm going to give a review of the park now. Talk about my full experiences, tips for visiting, and what you should, should not do, and whether it's worth a visit overall. Let's get right into it. Let's begin with my initial plan. So I went with my full family, we were going to spend about a week in the park. And we were going to be, for the most part, on a houseboat. Pick it up from Ebels, who gives houseboats out. They are pretty good, I like the houseboat we got. Definitely, probably one of the most enjoyable experiences of the whole park is being on the water. If you don't go on the water, you're simply not going to get anything out of this park. So, this whole week, weather was kind of iffy at certain times. So we had to go to Capitogamo, where we leave from after going to the eastern parts. A lot of this trip was just kind of boating around and being stopped at campsites. So I'm just going to mainly focus on the actual eventful areas we went to. First off, and very interesting wildlife sighting. As we were at the area where you leave with your Ebel's houseboat, I saw two snapping turtles fighting each other. That was one of the coolest wildlife experiences I've seen in a while. So that definitely started the park on a definitely a good note. The next day was interesting. We went to Kettle Falls, a historic district with a nice hotel and plenty of birds all around. I should point out, that as far as wildlife goes, bald eagles and geese and loons are some of the birds you can see. I really, really like the bird life here. It kind of reminded me of Grand Teton in that we got to see a lot of bald eagles. So that's definitely a cool part. Kettle Falls was fine. Next, we did Beast Lake Trail. This is on the Cabotogama Peninsula, and it is kind of connected to Cruiser Lake Trail, which is one of the most well-known in the park. May I just say, Beast Lake, do not do it. Do not do this trail. The main reason is bugs. I know some of you are thinking I can tolerate mosquitoes and flies and all that, but no. The issue here is ticks. The trees and the grass on the trail are severely overgrown. And the trail's not really maintained much, so that means, unfortunately, there's a lot of ticks. We probably came back with dozens. And the trail itself is not very impressive, I have to admit. It really wasn't that fun. That was definitely my least favorite part of the entire park. So, definitely don't do the Beast Lake Trail. There's ticks on most of the other trails, but if you're careful, you won't have a big issue. But that trail is just so overgrown, and there's so many of them that you have to worry about that more than any other park I've been to. Because I've never really seen ticks in national parks much before that. Carrying on. That day was pretty much all we did was those two things. After that, it was driving. The following day was actually very, very fun. So the great part of the day was that we began by fishing in the area near the Namekin Narrows. Very fun, saw plenty of birds, that was fun. Afterwards we went down pretty far to Grassy Bay Cliffs. Probably the most scenic area in the park. Definitely recommend boating here if you get a boat. Which, like I mentioned, you definitely should get. This is the main thing we did that day, and it was really, really fun. I absolutely enjoyed this part of the park. We then spent about three or four days in Cabotogama Lake. This is where we spent the remainder of the trip. And Cabotogama is definitely better and more eventful than, like, Namekin. I think Rainy Lake is the main one that people go to. However, I think Cabotogama might be better from my experience. I like Cabotogama a lot. So in Cabotogama, we did some fishing, some many bald eagles, blue heron. However, one highlight, when we went fishing one early morning, we found a deer. That's the largest animal we got to see. That was nice. And I will just say, this is in the Lost Bay area, where you can leave for Cruiser Lake Trail from the south. Lost Bay is my favorite area of Voyagers. It just had a lot to see. We saw many bald eagles, saw some fish, saw a deer, decent scenery, and this was nice. There's also some other places that are pretty well known compared to others. For example, the Ellsworth Rock Gardens are probably the most popular thing in all of Voyagers. I'll put it this way. It is the only place where we were not the only ones to dock. 
while most sites probably had no one else, here, there were probably 30, 40 people. So definitely a popular one. And the rock gardens are cool. A lot of the stones are really large, impressive, nice area along the water. It's good. I like it. And after that, we didn't go to a whole lot of major sites. We fished. We caught something. It's called a big mouth buffalo. It's a very rare fish that was supposedly hunted to extinction in Cabotogama Lake. So I was shocked we were able to find it. We released it because of what it was, but that was quite interesting. Overall, this was a fun experience. Let's get into some general stuff. As far as hiking goes, this park is not amazing. The Cruiser Lake system's okay. We did Echo Bay and Agnes Lake, but I just did not like Beast Lake at all. The scenery is good, but not amazing there. The scenery along the water is nice. You have large rocks, that's good. So a lot of it is rocky islands with trees on them and then rocky coasts. It's pretty, not breathtaking, but it's pretty. It's good scenery overall. The wildlife is pretty good. Salad deer, fish, smaller mammals, a lot of birds, that's good. I like it overall. And then you have a lot of things to do on the water. So when you're on the water, it's a really pleasant park. When you're on land, it's really one of the weakest ones. But the water parts are really good. So overall, is this park worth going to? Absolutely. I don't think you should spend as long as I did. That said, definitely spend probably two, three days to get to see all of Cabotogama and some of Namekin if you want. Make sure you go fishing. Look for lots of birds. Bird watching is probably a highlight. It's a very nice park. It's not a favorite of mine. It's probably well d below bottom half of the parks. Like, it's in the bottom half. It's not amazing. Most of the western parks are more impressive, but it's still a fun one, and I definitely enjoyed my time here. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment your thoughts on Voyagers down below. Subscribe for more content. I'm going to Isle Royale soon. I'll see you next time.